Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and welcome to a new craft with me video. Now, in today's video, obviously you're gonna watch me craft. Um, that's a little bit vague, but basically I uh, filmed myself crafting for a couple hours <laughs> and I cut that into multiple parts and this is part one. I don't know yet how many videos this will be, it kind of depends on how interesting the following clips are, but <laughs> you know, we will see. The first thing you see here are a three um, teamwork postcards, basically. The one on the left is a, um, a background or an art piece that I received from Seher. She sent it to me in a P.O. Box opening video, or I've opened it in a P.O. Box opening video. And basically the idea is that she created a background for me and I'm going to continue working on it. Uh, the only thing I have already done to that background is add that white paint that you now cannot see because I covered it up with the stencils. And then the green postcard and the pink one are from uh, Teamwork Postcard Swaps in on Swapbot which is the only swaps I still do. The idea is very simple. It's the same as with the one I'm doing uh, with the Sahar. I'm sorry, my camera's wobbling again. But basically one person creates the background, the next person creates the second layer, third person creates another layer, and then sometimes there's a fourth person to finish the postcard, and then it gets sent back to the original starter. Um, like I said, I get asked multiple times if I still take on swaps and I do not. These are the only swaps I still do and the reason for that is because they take me out of my comfort zone and I learn a lot from it because you have to work with something someone else has started, <laughs> if that makes sense. And like I said, uh, I like learning new things. I'm very sorry for my head. <laughs> I was like trying to make sure I made this as neatly as possible. What I'm using here, I will try and link everything down below, is Nuvo Gilding Mousse. Is it called Gilding Mousse? Okay, I'm in my craft room. I can just check. Let me roll over to my little uh, cabinet. No, it's Nuvo Embellishment Mousse, actually. It adds metallic dimensional details to your craft project. And this is the color Chai Latte. How applicable, I absolutely love that. Um, this is not sponsored. I wish I used Nuvo so often. And obviously this um, postcard had so many leaf elements, I decided to add another <laughs> little leaf element to it with the stencils, stencils I got from AliExpress. Uh, so the green leafy card I just showed you, I was the last person to work on it and I'm going to show you how I finish it a little bit later as well. This next project I'm working on is a, um, a teamwork postcard that I'm starting. So this is my background and then someone else is going to work on it. Three more people are going to work on it and then it gets sent back to me. It hasn't been sent back to me because it has only been like one or two rounds. So a little bit more patience from me and then I'm hoping to see how this one turned out. I'm obviously choosing a simple background that I ended up loving a lot. Uh, I'm going with different paper scraps uh, and the, then what you can always do is add some sort of a theme to it if you like, like you write on the back of the postcard and I've asked them to turn it into a bit of a spring, uh, a little bit of a spring themed postcard. So <laughs> this is the way I started it and I'm hoping to receive it back soon, <laughs> although I'm always impatient for these. It's so much fun to see how other people create something on top of what you've made. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you've realized, but I, I will continue to talk throughout this video, but I also hope to leave you with a little bit of relaxing music uh, as well. I hope that works. I 
okay, this is going to be one of those voiceovers that I uh, take and then retake and retake and retake until I'm super tired of hearing myself speak. But I deleted the part of my voiceover again because I wasn't happy. So if this sounds less genuine, then it is because I've already tried saying this once. But what I was saying is, I hope you guys are all doing okay. I mean, <clears throat> excuse my voice, these are weird times. These are very weird times and I think we have to look out for one another. We're all staying home or at least insert stern voice. Um, I hope you guys are staying home. Even if you're not sick, um, this does not just affect you. You could be still, you could be sick, you could be carrying the virus and you could infect other people. So please stay home don't be selfish um i still go outside <laughs> like there's things you can do without interacting with other people like don't go to see your friends don't go partying don't go to big stores um only go out if you really 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 have to like i go outside for runs when no one is out on the streets and if even if i do see someone i make sure to keep one and a half meters distance at all times now, I don't want this to be like a <laughs> me uh, lecturing you guys, but so many people are still ignoring the advice and that just makes me sad and angry at the same time. In the background, I used a stencil to uh, trace a quote that says, after all, tomorrow is just another day. Um, then I, I first traced it with pencil and then I uh, traced it again with a fine liner and I tried to erase the pencil and it got super messy and I was so sad but apparently this <laughs> okay so sorry for all the interruptions but my boyfriend is just making a ton of noise outside I mean downstairs so I, I keep cutting parts out of this voiceover first because I'm not satisfied and then because he's making noise <sighs> that's like the perks of both of us being at home all the time I don't have time to do my voiceovers because he's working from home the whole time and now he's done working, but he's still making noise. I don't know. He's taking out the trash or something like that. I do not know. But anyway, um, apparently that background makes it difficult. I don't know. Um, like the pencil didn't dry the way it normally would. The pen didn't dry the way it normally would. So it got super messy and I was really sad and I wanted to cover it up, but I decided not to. I thought if Sahar, I'm going to send it back to Sahar and if she wants to cover it up, then she can. Um, but maybe she figures out a way to fix it as well. That could be possible. Yes, I just showed you some chai tea because it was one of those days. You cannot see it, but I'm wearing my comfy sweater and uh, my pajama pants. Actually, same as I'm doing now. Comfy sweater and pajama pants. <laughs> <clears throat> but what I was trying to say is I hope you're all doing okay. These times are hard. They're hard for all of us. Um, being at home, as stupid as it may sound, is not as easy as one may think because we get isolated pretty quickly. We get, I at least get restless. I feel useless. I, I don't like not working. I worry about A, not working, not being productive, even though there is no work, restaurants are closed, and B, I, I have money, money worries because although I have my savings account and I have a partner who can uh, like pay a bit more of the bills now that I cannot, it just feels li like I'm failing when I'm not making money. <laughs> it just feels like it goes against those thoughts of how to be a successful adult. Like, yes, brain, we are not allowed to work right now, so there's nothing I can do about it, but my brain still tells me that no income means you fail <laughs> as an adult. So I have that to worry about. Um, Luckily, it's mainly that. It's mainly my brain being stupid and it's not that we are actually having financial issues. Like I said, I have my savings, I have my boyfriend. Um, so for now, we are doing relatively okay. It's just the worries, as always, <laughs> which is super stupid, but <clears throat> this voiceover is all over the place. What I was trying to say is we need to look out for each other. Um, I'm sort of trying to do my part by uh, like video calling my friends and stuff like that but I'm also hoping that these videos help someone <laughs> I, I, I've had people tell me that they help and that makes me super happy like it's not like I'm coming up with this on my own I've heard people say in the live stream and stuff like that my that my videos provide some sort of a safe space and that is literally all I could ask for so there's that 
And then I just think it's good to reach out to people who might have a difficulty in these times. Like I have one friend who's alone and luckily she's back with her parents now because I was really worried about her being all by herself in these crazy times and you know we all know how much of a bitch and anxiety can be and it's even more difficult in these stupid times so just wanted to put that out there keep an eye out on your friends your neighbors um, we need to get through this together we need to stay home together <laughs> um, but don't forget to look out for the ones you love even if it's through a phone call or, or something other than actually visiting them what I did in the background is I made tiny word stickers again uh, using my typewriter. Um, I typed believe in yourself the way you normally would write it and then I wrote be dash leave <laughs> in yourself as well because um, a long time ago I received mail from Emma. We all know Emma, Emma Lou, <laughs> Emma Lou loves. She's also here on YouTube um, and she made me a an art piece that was called believe in yourself and that just I was reminded of that when I was working on this leaf piece of meal. So I also did that. I, In the end, I decided to go for the believe in yourself the way you would normally write it. But I don't know, I thought that was a funny thing to include in there as well. Then these are a bunch of the extra goodies I'm including with the envelope I made for my own background. Of course, the one postcard that I finished is going to be um, sent without the envelope because that is like part of the fun you get to see it when you open the mailbox i just think that's a lot of fun but this is the one i, I made as a starter postcard Yeah, but I guess what I'm trying to say is look out for yourself and those around you, but especially yourself as well. Take good care of your mental health as well as your physical health. Um, we, for example, try to still quick with a lot of vegetables each day. I try to drink two liters of water a day. <laughs> I try to go for walks, um, but I know not everyone can. But like try and look out for yourself um i haven't been doing that great it's actually pretty hard on me the past few days um i get angry a lot not necessarily at something or someone just angry at the world i think we all know that feeling i hope i'm not the only one and then i get sad at other times like feeling useless <laughs> oh sorry i just knocked down my my microphone feeling useless feeling restless it's not good for me but we need to get through this and that's like literally the only thing we can do so <laughs> there's that obviously uh, I'm also focusing on my videos um, I try not to push myself I've already said that in the previous videos if I push myself I um, what is it called again I lock I lock down I I get stuck i don't know i lost the word there for a second but if i push myself i freeze i block that's it i, I get like a creative block so i'm not pushing myself <clears throat> but i have been writing and i've been doing little things like decorating envelopes the way that i'm doing here i'm also working on a couple projects in the meantime i have two projects projects I'm working on now for a YouTube video and then I have one little project that is going to be used for a Patreon only video. Um, in case you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way for you to financially support my channel. Uh, let me be quite honest, <laughs> that would be very welcome because this YouTube channel is my hobby. It will forever be my hobby, but I make these videos available for free that is how I intended to do it. That is uh, part of the fun that everyone can watch them. And I will always uh, offer my videos for free, but if you do 
want to support me financially, I would be forever grateful. If you cannot, for whatever reason, I completely understand. Uh, like I said, I don't have work right now, so I know what it's like. Uh, please don't feel like I expect anyone to do this. I do not. It's just if you can and if you want to. So I will link it down below. Um, for now, I'm offering like behind the scenes little sneak peeks, but as I just mentioned, I'm uploading an extra video there now as well. It would be a little chatty video, um, a little bit in a vlog style, but it will also contain a little, a tiny project, just like something small that I'm working on right now and that I want to share on Patreon. So, um, yeah, if you want to do check it out, um, my lowest tier starts at one euro and 50 cents. <laughs> I don't know, it feels very weird to self promote like that, but I learned in the live stream that I did a little while ago that people are interested in those kind of things and that people would want to support me and I feel forever grateful. So. I feel that I should also tell you about it because um, what is the point of setting up a Patreon if I am too afraid to talk about it? Now, I just finished decorating that previous envelope uh, with all sorts of vintage elements. I actually loved how that turned out uh, with the beautiful vintage cutout and then some craft paper and uh, one of those large sticker washi type that I got from the uh, your creative studio box. I did a video unboxing that as well. Um, so I finished that envelope and now I'm making a teeny tiny uh, random act of kindness because there's this lady I follow on Instagram and she was talking about how people ring her doorbell all the time to like ask her to contribute to their charity or to tell them about their beliefs. And I basically told her, hey, I purchased a sticker a little while ago that says no i do not want to buy anything um, and we will donate to charity in our own way so it lets people like salesmen know that you do not want them to ring your doorbell and i purchased one but for some reason they accidentally sent me two um so i had one left over and i only have one front door <laughs> one doorbell so i only needed one so i told her hey if you want it, it's yours. I have no use for it. And it's helped me a lot because I am one of those people who gets sucked into charities exactly that way by not being able to say no to someone who shows up in front of my front door. So um, what I was doing here is I just wrote her a little note and then I made her that tiny pocket with some extra presents in it. And I'm going to decorate that cute little polka dot envelope uh, as well and I sent that out to her. So a little random act of kindness um, as my last piece of mail, <laughs> I guess. I was listening to like I was kind of checking my video and my voiceover so far because this is the point in time where I usually decide if I'm going to keep this voiceover or if I'm going to do it once more I've decided to keep it today but I, I kept hearing like I cannot <laughs> mimic it now but I kept hearing these random little sounds in the background and that is actually uh, coloring pencils uh, like one of the projects the project that I'm working on <coughs> What is up with my voice today? The project that I'm working on for Patreon, uh, I'm using color in pencils and I've just put a coloring book in front of me while I was editing this video and I've been, I'm even drawing now, like I'm coloring in a coloring book page. I don't know if you can hear that, um, but it helps me focus and it helps me, like it's very weird when I'm editing these videos to have to listen to myself talk the whole time. Uh, it's a little bit awkward to listen to yourself. I don't know if you have that, like when you watch a video that someone took of you and you hear yourself talk, it's just weird. So imagine doing that for a video tw twice a week. And now that I'm doing three videos, <laughs> I'm obviously doing this three times a week. So 
Um, I always try to do something while I'm editing, such as uh, create something small. And now I figured that I could do some coloring in the meantime. So the thing you kept hearing, like plink plonk, <laughs> that's actually pencils. I just wanted to clarify that. So the last thing I'm doing here um, is create an envelope and that I'm going to continue in the next craft with me video. So this was the end of this craft with me. Um, I hope it gave you some ideas, although it's very different from my usual videos. It's for me a good way to, um, I don't know, share some more things with you online and to do some chatting <laughs> because uh, we all know I enjoy that every now and then and I hope you do too. As I already said, everyone stay safe, uh, stay sane, although it's definitely not easy. Uh, I struggle with it as well, but all we can do is stay safe and stay inside and do some crafting, I'm guessing. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do not already. I upload videos normally twice a week, but as I've already mentioned a dozen times, in these weird times when I'm at home, I upload three. I'm also going to upload an extra video to my Patreon account. I already also mentioned that. I don't know yet if that is going to be a standard thing for um, a, as a Patreon reward, but with me being at home, it feels like the least I can do. We already have six super kind Patreons and I'm calling you the Crafty Club. So if you want to join, you know, <laughs> I think I've said that often enough now. <laughs> Anywho, um, by the way, last thing I'm going to say in terms of self-promotion is that if you want to learn how to make your own envelopes and you do or you do not have the supplies I have, um, I will link a video down below. I made a tutorial a little while ago that has a dozen ideas on how you can make your own envelopes with and without special tools. So that was my video for today. Don't forget to tune in multiple times this week and I hope to see you again soon. Use the hashtag the paper letter blog on Instagram if you end up using one of my ideas. I always love seeing and sharing these in my videos. Bye bye!